welcome to Framed. Today we've got this good buddy of mine, Dick Brooks, on here with us today. Came up from New York City. He's got all these like really wild paintings that he's been showing down there, and uh, pretty excited. I've met Dick. I don't know, 10 years ago, I guess? Yeah, yeah, we did a few movies together, yeah. and, uh, you know, I am a director of photography, and I've done many, many movies and shorts and commercials, but uh, now, basically, uh, I'm still doing some of that, mm -hmm. but I'm also painting, and uh, I have a series of new paintings, and uh, I'm excited about them, and uh, so is the gallery that's going to exhibit him, and that gallery is the Montserrat Gallery between uh, Houston, Houston and Houston Broadway, and, I think, no, right? Houston, or ha that, that, okay. That, that, that. <laughs> Houston and Prince Street. Yeah. Houston and Prince Street on Broadway, 534 okay. Broadway. 534? 584. 84. And okay. uh, they're quite excited about the paintings, and I feel very good about that. Uh, I, these paintings are diverse in subject matter, and uh, so they were harder to come by because each one, uh, it's like I had to create images, you know, right from the beginning, but it, there was no unified theme, so it, it was harder. It's like writing uh, a novel and each paragraph is different <laughs> from the previous one. You know, and sometimes, you know, had no relation mm. to the previous one. And uh, in that sense, it's harder to get a gallery. And it's, it is hard to get a gallery in New York at this time uh, because of 9-11 mm. and the country, the recession, et cetera. Is it because of the economic situation? Yes, or? yes. And the galleries are hurting. And if you're not a very well-known painter, uh, it is hard, mm. much harder than it used to be. Well, uh, I was art directing uh, features while you and you were director of photography, and I remember you saying that you were painting and you had mm -hmm. these paintings, and um, mm -hmm. you had this. Re you have this really terrific series on s uh, subway yeah. images, which we're going to show you. That I think are so cool. I couldn't wait to see this new series that you have for the new gallery, Montserrat, right? Montserrat, Montserrat Gallery. Montserrat. And you said, now, you went to 350 galleries for this show? Well, I hate to admit it. I mean, it, tell me about that, because <laughs> that's like, I don't know, to me, I've never, like, yeah. chopped around the gallery. So what's it about? You went uh, on foot? I walked the streets in, okay. uh, what was it, April, May, and June. With your slides? With the slides, and went to all these galleries from Soho, Broadway, uh, West Broadway, Chelsea, and even in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, East and West. And w the reports I used to get, or the feedback, was either, number one, they're not taking on any new painting. Mm, I think that happens a lot, right? Right. Uh, or uh, number two, they love my paintings, but it didn't, didn't fit their image. Mm. You know, which is, uh, they're so image conscious in most yeah. of these galleries that uh, one gallery wrote me a letter saying, your paintings are brilliant, but it doesn't fit our image. Mm. We can't. I go, oh, well, you know. They probably do, like, you know, have their standard market, you know, either like corporate or homes well, or yeah. whatever. And, of course, I was hurt because it wasn't a unified theme. Mm. The previous uh, uh, series of paintings were all about transit subways. And it was easy for them to relate to. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they didn't have to search their brain as much to see the quality of the work and uh, what the work was all about. So uh, I decided, as I said, to paint a, a whole new series of paintings. And they're basically surreal. Some of them are comedy, mm. uh, few are not. And the main thing when I paint, it has to be interesting. Yeah, your work is, that's for sure. If it's not an interesting painting, uh, it doesn't work. There's one painting uh, I did um, called Men with Packages, mm. which I'll show you. Yeah, you got to show um, us. But I, I had to paint that seven times. Uh. I had to have a completely blue field, dark blue field, and a light one lighted window and the man with packages and you'll see what the man of packages is all about and unless the field of blue was totally clean 
didn't work. So about the sixth That's time... That's hard to do. It is very hard to do, and I went through a lot of experimentation to do that. On, after the sixth painting, and it didn't work, I, I, I had some perspiration <laughs> drop on it. I could have, you know, jumped out the window. But uh, <clears throat> I took a knife, and I destroyed the painting. I took a knife, and I said, fuck it. <laughs> and I just destroyed the painting. Oh. I said, I'm going to start all over. And on the seventh try, I, I achieved it. Huh. And so it's most gratifying, that painting. Because wow. I just, so you get like the whole violence thing going right in the art. Well, after a while, I mean, <laughs> six times I painted it, and every time there was a glitch here or a glitch there, it was almost perfect. <laughs> And then, so that painting actually gave me a great deal of satisfaction. <laughs> well, now there. the knifed up canvas one could almost go down to East Village. And, uh, <laughs> remember when that all that like violence over like right. in the 80s or whatever? But uh, <laughs> that's over with. You know, I you know I spent three hundred dollars on two brushes to try to achieve what I finally did achieve, and these brushes were just put hair over the paintings and they're just, I it's hate just, that. Just a disaster. I hate that. Well, the way you got to do that right away, you get a needle, okay. you bend it with a piece of tape so you don't lose the needle, you know, and you can lift it right off most of the time. Oh, because I never know yeah, how to. Yeah. Oh, so that's and a good somehow, way. Somehow. Because usually I try like pick it off with my nails or whatever, and then I mess up get the a, paint. Get a nice, decent needle, bend it with okay. the pliers, put it over a stove so it bends easy. And you'll, you'll come off oh, quite easy. Oh, because I'm always like, you know. It's time consuming, but it works. Crystals. At any rate. You're so, painting in oil on well, canvas, oil's right? Oil's on canvas. and. Why most, don't you start with the first one? Well, now, most of these are three by four feet. Most of the paintings are 36 by 48. Okay. And uh, so in no particular order, these are a little brighter in the beginning. Uh, this painting is called, uh, I'm going to give you the titles of each painting. Yeah. It's called Next Gas 3,000 Miles. Mm. And is, uh, can this camera see this? I love that. This? I love it. Well, we're going to do Yeah, he's got yes, it. We're going to do this it. This is on, where you yeah, like it? Exactly. Yeah. And I, you can see there's this like really cool stoplight <laughs> in the top. It's Next Gas 3,000 Miles. 3, 000 it's in the miles. middle of the ocean. And it's just like bizarre. It's so freaky. He's got this like traffic You're light. You're not getting a, a kick on, the, on it, are you? No, nope, it looks good. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. And the colors. I mean, one thing about your paintings, the blues that you use right. and your clouds always seem to be like dominant. Yeah. Well, That's it's really nice. cool. It's a nice contrast. Yeah. You know, I like of it. course it's humorous. And it is. It's hysterical. <laughs> um, the next one uh, is uh, called She Knows. Mm -hmm. And uh, unlike, uh, or like the other one, it has clouds and sea, and you'll see what it's all about, but it's, it's different. It's called She Knows. Yeah, right. it's got the Queen of Hearts. The queen of Hearts the and uh, uh, a woman's rear <laughs> on, on the uh, what, the left of the frame. Yeah. So. Um, and how think. long have you been painting, Doc? Well, I started in uh, oh, geez, seventy-one. We really were wow. serious, wow. serious, and uh, I'll tell you about that okay. later on. Here we go. Uh, this is called Seashore, and it. I think, I think it, it says it all. Yeah. You know, the beautiful clouds and the sea and a woman Just uh, a and the bit. sailboat, the, the sail of a sailboat. And if I painted the woman's arm, if I, if I painted the woman's arm, mm -hmm. didn't work. It had to be it, just uh, the slanting of the figure. And it's almost like a statue mm -hmm. could be, but it's not. And uh, it's a very pleasing painting it to is. me, you know? And if you see the colors, in, I mean, the, the photograph is fine, but really uh, the colors stand out in the painting even better. Okay, because these photos look really great. Yeah. <clears throat> now, this is a painting, <clears throat> I don't know how much you can see of it, the detail. Uh, again, uh, um, this is called she, um, Farewell, My Lovely. Mm. And there is a man swimming mm -hmm. towards the horizon. There's an exit sign on top, <laughs> and there's a bird, a yellow bird, uh, watching him. Uh, you can't see the expression on his face in this little photo, but it's, in the painting, it's, it's a really mm -hmm. terrific feeling of what he's feeling, <laughs> you know? And the exit sign, 
He's yeah. out of there. Well, that's where we'll go in He's and gone. come out. Everybody goes in and out up there, you know? <laughs> so um, it seems to me to work there, that yeah, way. I think so. <clears throat> this this is, one, like, cracks me up. This is I a humorous this. painting. It's called Gravity. And it's, you know the artist Steinberg? I think he did covers for uh, New York Magazine or Time Life or whatever. Uh, it's a painting uh, not unlike that, but it's my own painting. And it's, I feel it's quite humorous. Yeah, I do too. You know? But now say the title of it, because that's it's, what really well, well, I it's, think. It's called Gravity. Yeah, it just totally cracks me you up. You know? You can see the ball there with and the one hand. man is quite happy about it. The other man is in a little <laughs> uh, bit of consternation. <laughs> and that is my arm. I painted my arm. Oh, I took a photograph of it. Yeah, oh, I painted okay. those are my fingers and my arm. And... Uh, I just love that. It's so, it just cracks me up. Yeah, and it's quite graphic. <laughs> and again, these are oil on canvas. These are all oil on canvas and all about 36 by 48. Okay. This painting is called The Throw. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how much you can see of it, but it's oh, yeah, two gentlemen on twin roofs mm -hmm. uh, throwing a ball. One is throwing it and one is catching it. And uh, it's quite surreal. They're above the yeah. clouds. The clouds are like cotton candy. You could almost mm -hmm. eat them. And uh, I painted this before 9-11, but you have like twin towers. And uh, it wasn't meant to represent the uh, twin towers, but somebody might read that, read, yeah, you know, that into it. What's up with the windows? Because they're sort of, they look like shades or painted windows. Right, the they're windows, like skyscapers. And they're empty, and the, the clouds are going through the, you know, the portions of the windows because they're glass. Oh, and there's no furniture, okay. but there are shades, you oh, know, so halfway wind, down. Okay. You know? Look at it myself. Yeah, you, you can't see all the details. Oh, I in, see in what here, it but is. But you would then. In, the, in the painting. This one's pretty far out. This we were is talking a far out painting, and it gives me. A great deal of pleasure, mm. and I think it's probably political. Yeah. Uh, it's called uh, American Corporate, and you'll see this right now. Uh, this gentleman is the boss, and he's reaching for a gun. Mm -hmm. This is his right hand man, and woman executive, and this young, <laughs> <laughs> ideal, <laughs> idealistic man. And he's reading a book on Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> he's petting a cat, and he has a little cup of cappuccino. <laughs> and I think the boss is about to shoot him. <laughs> but what's kind of funny, when you first showed it to me, it has a telephone on it, red phone, next to the boss. Yeah. The kitty cat, the guy's petting his kitty cat. The thing I kind of noticed at first was I was thinking, oh, the new guy, he's like so different that he's an outcast. That's the way I was looking at it. Like, oh, he's not going to make it in this scenario. Right. But then now when we're talking about it or whatever, I'm just thinking um, maybe he turns into them. That would be even worse, I right? Don't, well, no. So he's, what do you think? Well, Are they going to kick, squeeze him out I or is he going to turn into I think he's them? about to get it <laughs> one, or the other, okay. one way or the so other. So he's going to be out. Yeah, he's a, just a, a nice young man who <laughs> doesn't belong in corporate America. Okay? <laughs> This is the one I, I don't know, I just thought of Edward Hopper, of course, right away. I think the colors and I, the mood of I it. I painted you know? this painting, which is called Millennium, mm -hmm. just a few days. I completed it before the Millennium. And, you know, when we had the Millennium, nobody knew what was going to happen, mm -hmm. whether the power or whatever, right, or the right. world is going to end. Uh, and uh, so this is a young man. Mm -hmm who was really me. That was Dick in his younger years. Yes, this is a poster <laughs> of uh, Orphan Annie, the, mm. the play. What was the play called? Annie, Annie. Was, Wendy Warbucks. And this is a, uh, right here is a bank, mm. a toy bank of a magician. He's got the knife through it, no, right? No, it's not a knife. Or what it's, is it's, it? It's, it's a key in the back. And this, the, it, the color of gray is a continuation of a table, the top of a table. Uh, it looks like a knife. Yeah, I see. In the see. painting, you will see the, you, you know, you will see the difference. Oh, because in the fall, it looks like right. a knife through the right. guy. No. Right. Uh, the book with the question mark. Mm hmm And the light, the strange green light coming down, uh, because it's a strange time. It's millennium. Mm -hmm. And the pool balls and the calendar says the date. Ah. Oh. There's a calendar that says 
Huh. It says uh, 1999, December mm -hmm. 31st. That's what that painting's all about. And here's the one I told it's you. I, I, I knifed. <laughs> I knifed this fucking painting. <laughs> and believe me, uh, you'll see what it's all about. It's called Man with Packages. <laughs> and in what, some ways, it's my most creative painting because, like music, which yeah. isn't there till a musician sits down at a piano mm. or whatever and composes okay. and makes something. All right. The Man with Packages was nothing, and I created it. You'll see mm. what I'm talking about. Yeah, that is so freaky. That's like wild. And then the light in the window, what I, I was telling Dick, I was like, you know, that light is so phenomenal coming through the upper left-hand corner, or, yeah, left-hand corner. And he said he repainted it that way after 9-11. Yeah, it was, it was a like flatter light, light. And then light. after 9-11, I made it more dramatic. And he's coming home. Hmm. He's going now, home. Now, what I want to know is, do you pick the title before you painted that? No, no, no. Or, no. like, you painted... No, no. ...with this thought. When I look at it, like when I look at it, it. A, a, a title comes up in my mind. Okay. This painting... This one's is, way cool. It's called yeah. The Nightmare. Two. Which is most of my life. <laughs> 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 and it's uh, very dramatic. It's a man... Mm. Uh, walking down a corridor, a dark corridor, there is a weight machine with a mirror here mm, reflecting yeah, yeah. His, uh, his face. And there's a green railing and a light up here. Mm. It's a really a very dramatic and eerie painting. Some said it reminded them of the scream, Munch's the scream. Oh, but, well, uh, in a sense, I see yeah, but the it's, color, it's the mood. It's kind of German expressionist, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it really is a, it's quite a good painting. I mean, to me, the, the thing that could be similar if you were going to look at the scream is mood, the fact, the shape, maybe, right. the face, right. the color. Okay. Yeah. But, but it's entirely it's different. It's entirely yeah. different. Yeah. It's not even the yeah. same like kind a, of brush it's like strokes a second or cousin anything. Maybe, or something like that. But you know, one of, what I think is so cool, the mood of it, it just like jumps out at me. Uh, Dick asked me, like, what was my favorite? You know, what were my favorite three? And that was like the first one I picked out. I'd seen the original. And it's just the mood is so like strong. One of the things I'm noticing now um, when I'm looking at these is you always have sort of like a practical in your frame. And, hmm. you know, if you know anything about filmmaking, right. uh, working with Dick, uh, like as art director in pictures, he was a DP yeah. and he does a lot of lighting design for everything and stuff. You always need the practical in the shot. Well, you know, I love or light. the light source. Light gives you light. In your paintings, you've done that. Light gives you life. But you've done that in your paintings. You yeah. either have the light coming through the window, you've got the light bulb. You That's always true. show, like, that light source, which I didn't realize that until this very moment. And in the subway series, Transit, which we're going to look at, those we noticed. There's less the light. The framing. Yeah, there's yeah. less light, right. not the yeah. practicals. But yeah. you were always looking through a lens of a camera. I'll show you how sometimes the uh, process works, at least my process. This painting that I'm going to show you in a few seconds I originally started to paint the man looking at a Frigidaire. <laughs> a Frigidaire. <laughs> Inside okay. an open Frigidaire. And for whatever reason, it didn't work, you know? And so I kept working on it. Mm. And rarely does one of my paintings look in the beginning like the finished work. Sometimes oh. it's really uh, about 360. So the painting kind of takes you right. along the way. And conceptualizes and okay. different and and uh, I don't know what you can make out of this, but this is a strange man it's like, wow. looking through a periscope that is through a hole in, in this in kind tree. of tree with a green shade. And there's a, you probably can't see it, but mm. there's a woman, you see half a woman with light mm. in a building. And that's what he's looking at. And uh, he's smoking a little cigarette and... Uh, I had somebody, somebody wanted to buy this painting immediately mm. when they saw it, and uh, I didn't want to sell it till I have a show. Oh. Oh. But they, want, they, they, they went crazy mm. about this painting, but... Uh, now, Dick, like in your other paintings, you painted your arm in gravity, yeah. and then in the other one, it was you as a young man. Now, this guy's green. Is it's that you, me, like no. when you smoke too many cigarettes? No, no, or? no, no, no. I rarely <laughs> smoke. Uh, I gave it up for 20 years. So Once in a while, I have a cigarette. <laughs> 
But uh, I painted them green. Yeah, why? What was that about? I mean, it I probably did, couldn't couldn't paint them with the flesh tones <laughs> under here the way I wanted. And you know something? It looks like the green guy in the yellow submarine a little bit, you know? You know, the Beatles movie, the yellow? It reminds me of a green meanie. But obviously he's a pervert. But <laughs> this painting yes, is, he's a this, pervert. This painting is called The Observer. I like that. It's cool. All right. So I have two more paintings in here. Yeah, and then we want to get to some of the subway no. ones. This uh, painting... I, I just finished it recently, and okay. it's called The Midnight Visitor. Now, there's a lot more, like, brush stroke going on with this one, I think. Yeah, so, you know? yeah. Some I more painting, Again, I, I started with something different, and it worked its way, it worked its way into this painting. Uh, uh, I had quite a struggle with it, mm. but uh, this is what I ended up with. It's called Midnight Visitor. Mm -mm. And there's a man reading a newspaper on a bench. There's a phone here with a little red light, and these are houses. You don't see anybody in the windows. Mm -hmm. There's a fence, and there's a, you can't see it, but that's a train way mm. in the distance. And that's a moon and a green sky, and it's the bird. Wow. That's the midnight visitor. Wow. And uh, it's, uh, it has a lot of effect, this wow. painting, you know? Um, and again, you have like the light at the telephone right. booth. Yeah, it's got the moonlight right. again as a practical. It's full of and, light. You yeah, know? it is. Yeah, it has a lot of light in it. And uh, this is the last painting of this series. This is the X-rated painting. Mm -hmm. And this is on the postcard uh, this invitation is on the, right, for on the Montserrat. Card. I played a lot of poker at this time. Uh, I'm not too successful at it. But uh, I decided to do one painting uh, with a poker as a uh, theme. And uh, how I arrived at this, I'll never know, but I did. And I had a great deal of trouble with an arm docking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the docking into the woman. Oh, and it's called okay. uh, Ace in a Hole. Okay. And again, you sort of have the same thing. You have practical light. You've got the female with sort of a sandy color, earth tone, which you've had in your other paintings. Yeah. The dark green, the boards. The light is really, it's really quite wow. nice coming down. Yeah. Uh, and shading him in the half light and him in just a little bit of an edge light. She has some red light on the side of her. Yeah, she's got that red light. Well, over from the glow from, right. the, from there. Huh. And uh, that's uh, this painting. I have two more, but... I just finished, but I don't have the uh, photos yet. You know, Dick, yeah. with five minutes left, I think it's almost better we save the subway ones for this, a second show. Really? That we'll do in a minute. How's that? Because uh, I oh. think it'd be good to just kind of stay with the series that's at Montserrat. Um, what's this? Are you titling this show anything? Oh, yes. It's called uh, Dreams, Fantasies, Illusions. Oh. Okay. Which I think fits. Just kind of picturing that. Yeah, now. It fits, it, I think it fits the paintings. Wow. You know, and the gallery loved the uh, title. You know, I. Uh, That's the whole thing I was telling you earlier. Like, it just kills me with these titles because every time I do my paintings, like I can't stand doing the titles. I just, I don't know, every now and then something comes to me and that's great, you know, that I just know that was the perfect title. But otherwise, for me, it's just not the element that I care as much mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. But the titles so often make the painting. A lot of times, well, they I mean, they, yeah, you know, just like... It adds something just, to the painting. It does. It just, like, ties it all together. Oh. And the one, gravity. Oh. I mean, just looking at it, I thought it was really cool. But then when Dick's in the name, I was time. like, oh, my God, that's hysterical, yeah. I had you know? I time uh, getting that title. I mean, huh. What am I going to call it? I can't call it Noses. No, what am I going to call it? <laughs> so you usually yeah. title it after? Yes. You did it? Yeah, but you know, I'm also a writer. You know, I've had, yeah, uh, if I may say so, and I've stuff. written screenplays and I've had a play of mine produced off off Broadway and I've written short story. So uh, writing is not so hard for me. It's lonely, mm -hmm. but it's not so hard. And uh, so the titles uh, come pretty easily. I guess because they're all just so perfect. Well, yeah, and I'll sit there, my one friend, I was doing a show a couple weeks ago, and 
my one friend was like, well, do it like it's a series, number one, number two, you know? So it was like, field yeah. of flowers, number one, <laughs> yeah. field of flowers, number two. But, you you know, and that's that. really bailing now, I, yeah. I think. And then doing untitled, Yeah. Right. you know? Yeah. But I spend like way too much time thinking about that. I, would, I like it when it just comes to me. You know, sometimes I can look at a piece and it's just there, you know, that title. But would you say for the most part you title it later? No, yeah. No, there's no such thing as titling it beforehand. You're not thinking like, oh, okay, um, I'm going to do a painting on throwing the ball, or... No. Yeah, okay. No, uh, it, it's suggested to me as I'm finishing, I'm three quarters mm -hmm. finished, or uh, for instance, that painting, Ace in a Hole, I mm -hmm. could have called it Creative Cheating. <laughs> That's true. That's and true. That's, that's yeah. Actually, the creative cheater. But you know yeah. what? Ace in a hole is kind of everybody knows. The old ace in a hole, huh. right? You know? That expression yeah. in front, yeah. yeah. When you're it in trouble, it. give yeah. me, you know, I have their old ace in a hole I can always go to, you know? Mm. So, and it seems to fit the painting uh, perfectly. It's a little bit of an X rated, but uh, so what? You know? Not compared to what's going on in the world oh, today. Oh, forget about it, yeah. You know? Uh, and, you know, the humor in some of these paintings, it, it's important. Humor is very important in life. Uh, I couldn't imagine uh, going through life without humor. Do you <laughs> I mean, have a, a contact number or address or anything you want people to reach you at? Or should they call the gallery? No, or? they can call me directly. Okay. Uh, if you want, give one, it right yeah. to the camera right there. Okay. Just give me your uh, phone number. Oh, there's the old Dick camera. Brooks. Hey, Dick Brooks at 212. 243-8448. Uh, and of course, if you call, don't call after midnight and whisper in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want, do you take collect calls from Delmar? Do you, you just want from where? <laughs> no, We're in Delmar. This is where no, we are today. Uh, somebody wants to call <laughs> and, and see a painting of mine in yeah. person uh, or speak to me about them, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be happy to do so. Uh, and uh, so perhaps I'll hear from someone out there. And if not, uh, have a nice day. Cool. Yeah, um, and Dick has friends up here. He's got me and yes, our other uh, friend is an editor yes, also. Uh, it's a very come nice. and stay with and it's quite nice bring up his here. painting. So yeah. <laughs> it's a big change, you know, uh, from the city where I live. Uh, yeah, you have like city. air and air is very fresh. And, <laughs> and grass. it's interesting traveling on the train up here and seeing the uh, landscapes. It's uh, cool. Like the Hudson and a lot of marshland and some uh, fields of pumpkins. Is it going to inspire you to do any landscapes today? You know, <laughs> I just finished these paintings. <laughs> I don't I've, see I, you doing landscapes. I, I'll be honest with you. I have. I don't have any more room in my house to hang paintings. Right. I hope somebody buys some of these well, paintings. Well, this show's going to take care of that. Yeah. And I want to thank you so much for joining Dick and I on today's episode of Framed. Ciao, ciao. Okay.